DaVinci Resolve 19 is finally released and it's packed with a ton of features and upgrades. So today I'm going to talk about some of the features that you absolutely cannot miss. So jumping straight into it, let's start with what has to be one of the biggest features, the Film Look Creator. If you're into the Film Look, then this feature is definitely for you. With this effect, you get a few presets that you can choose from, like the Bleach Bypass and the 65 or the 35mm and there's also a few different film stocks available that will help you achieve different looks. This new feature also gives you multiple settings you can change, including popular effects like film grain, halation, bloom, split toning and much more. You get access to it on the color page by dragging the effect into a node, or you can also access it both in the cut page and edit page as well. Simply look for the film look creator in the open effects and drag it into your clip. This effect is studio version only, so if you have the free version, unfortunately, you have to sit this one out. And since we're talking about color grading, let's talk about the next one, which is Color Slice. This is a new feature on the color tab, where you get a breakdown of your image into six different colors, giving you targeted controls over those color ranges, which means you can basically control specific things like the hue and saturation, giving you more rich and dense colors. This one is actually available both in the free version and the studio version, so if you only have the free version, I would definitely take advantage of that. Another feature that definitely has to be mentioned is the defocus background. This tool allows you to adjust the background blur of a subject very easily. Simply draw a mask on the subject and track it if you need to. Then drag the effect into a node and you'll have a few options that lets you control the blur, including the intensity, the amount of blur and the anamorphism of the blur, which basically simulates the look of anamorphic lenses. Don't go crazy with this effect though, otherwise it can be noticeable that it isn't real. And if I'm not mistaken, this feature is studio only, sadly. This new update also brought big things into the audio department. The next effect is called Docker and by the way it's available on the free version as well. This automatically adjusts the music volume when there's dialogue playing at the same time as music, lowering the volume when you're talking and increasing it when you're not talking. This effect works on track level. Just select the music track, turn on the Docker effect on the audio tab and select the track where you have your dialogue. You can play around with the dock level until you get a result that you're happy with. Another mind-blowing new feature only available in the studio version is the Dialogue Separator. This allows you to separate your dialogue from the background, which is basically black magic. I mean, it has to be, right? In here, you can basically play around with the audio levels of the dialogue, the background and the ambience individually. If you want, you can isolate any of these sounds and mute them entirely. You can have just your voice playing or just the background. How crazy is this? And if you're blown away by this feature, wait until you hear about Music Remixer. This allows you to isolate specific parts of a song, like the drums, guitar, bass or just the voice. These are also known as stems, and having the ability to control them within DaVinci Resolve is nuts. Sadly, this one is also only available in the studio version. And now, to wrap up the video, the last feature I want to talk about is the Intelli Tracker. It's basically a more efficient tracker that uses AI, which gives you more reliable tracks, or at least it should, even when the subject you're tracking goes behind other objects. This feature is available all over Resolve, including the Color tab, Fusion and Fairlight. This one is another feature only available in the studio version. And honestly, I think I keep seeing more and more reasons for you to upgrade to the studio version in case you haven't. I think it's definitely worth the investment. So there you have it. This version is completely packed with new features, but these that I mentioned are the ones that really blew my mind away and that I think that I will be using in my workflow from now on. I really can't wait to test these out more in depth and see how much my workflow will improve. So yeah, you should definitely check out all the other features that were released as well within this version uh, and I will actually leave a list in the description below if you want to check them out. As always, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next one.